Hari Om, I am Nagaraj Nircha, the Vice Chancellor of Chinmaya Vishwa Vidya Peet, or CVV for short. It gives me great pleasure to bring you this video about the life and work of Professor Prashanta Chandra Mahalanobis. He is popularly referred to as PCM or simply as the professor by the members of the Indian Statistical Institute founded in 1931 by him. PCM was born on June 29, 1893. In 2006, the Indian government declared June 29th as the National Statistics Day to honor the contributions of PCM to the development of planning and establishment of statistical surveys in India. Chinmaya Vishwavidya Pit was founded in 2017 in accordance to the vision of Swami Chinmayananda of blending the ancient wisdom with modern science. So why at CVV are we celebrating the National Statistics Day. CVV's vision includes teaching and celebration of Indian scientific heritage. When someone mentions the scientific heritage of India, our immediate thought goes to the ancient times. At best, we think of Aryabhata or the invention of zero and Hindu numerals. In particular, we do not think about contributions to the science by Indians in a contemporary sense. PCM lived in the 20th century and has made significant contribution to the field of statistics. Therefore, we bring to you a video about his life and work. I hope you find this video useful and enjoyable. Uh, I should say that uh, I did not actually have a face-to-face -face meeting uh, on a one-to-one -one, uh, meeting with Professor Mahalumis, but uh, I first saw him and was impressed by him and about ISI before I even went to ISI when he gave a talk on India's second five-year plan. And this was at Andhra University, Voltaire in 1958. And in fact, it is uh, that talk by him that prompted me to go to ISI and to specialize in econometrics. And it so happens that my thesis was also in uh, an extension of Mahalanobis planning model at Iowa State University. Uh, he, he is really approachable, not only approachable, affectionate, and then uh, he, would, he would be able to talk to anybody. In fact, I happened to hear his lecture to VSTAT students, not only me, all those who were at ISI were asked to listen to Professor Mahalanobis because it is a very rare thing to see Mahalanobis give a lecture. So when he oh. gave a lecture to VSTAT students, first batch of VSTAT students, the entire staff and faculty, research scholars, everybody was there. Okay. And he gave a lecture on probability and statistics and motivation to VSTAT students. And it was superb, one of the best lectures I had ever heard on the topic. So he's an excellent communicator, he was. PCM belongs to a very rare pre-independent period scientific heritage of people. In fact, he was very much influenced in his own thinking and his own work in statistics by one Brajendranath Seal. He was actually at one time Vice Chancellor of Mysore University, some people might know. And he was taught by J.C. Bose at the Presidency College, Calcutta. And Meghnath Saha was one year junior to him and a very close friend of Malanavis. So he belonged to that kind of a scientific heritage. Those are the people with, with whom he associated himself. Uh, but it, what is interesting is the way some of these people 
built not only their own research careers, but first rate world class institutions in our country. As we all know, he built ISI, okay, almost from scratch. The first year budget was 230 rupees or something of that order. Mm -hmm. So from a shoestring shoe budget, how to build world-class science is something we have to learn from these people. His contributions to large-scale sample surveys is one of the best contributions, for which, of course, you, you all know that he received the Fellow of Royal Society. But it is not enough just to uh, uh, do some research and get an FRS. He actually started the National Sample Survey Organization. And nowadays, thousands and thousands of people use the data collected by that organization. The Nobel Prize in uh, 2015 in economics was given to Angus Deaton. And most of his work for which he got that Nobel Prize was National Sample Survey data. Other thing is his work on planning, the second five-year plan, draft plan. Apart from this, recently I am thrilled to see that people are using in data analytics, big data analysis for clustering and so on, Malanabis distance. In 1935, Vishweshwaraya had mentioned about indigenous way of planning, economic planning, that became a part of Nehru idea and Mahalanabi's idea also. So you will mm, see, yeah. that picture was taken in 1945 at Amrapali, the residence of Mahalanabi's. But prior to that, there were several such meetings between them about Indian planning. And uh, you know, at, at the time of uh, planning process in India, the first five year plan was done uh, with a simple goal of uh, growth, growth in the economy. But then very soon it was realized that a country like India should concentrate not just on growth, but growth with equity. With, so a concern for income distribution. At that time, there were different forces in India pulling in different directions. All the business people were asking for what is called a Bombay plan, which was oh. There should be no role for the state, for the government. Business should be allowed free hand with a free enterprise. That was the idea of Bombay plan. Then there were Gandhians who wanted cottage industries to be developed and planning to be done at the village level as a self-contained planning. The labor unions were demanding a total uh, centralized planning. Uh, so uh, these three forces were operating when the planning was being done. So to satisfy all those three groups, he came up with what is called a four sector model. Okay. If today we have a lot of industrial capacity, if today we have entrepreneurs in India, it is all because some of them had actually started as small-scale industrialists. Yeah. And of course, you know, he also brought computers to the yeah. planning yeah. activity. The best uh, tribute to Professor P.C. Mahalanamis is to learn from his uh, work and uh, yes. uh, his contributions, uh, how can we be as useful to the society as he was. So, yeah. Professor Kumar, thank you very much. You have been very, very kind and generous with your time. And uh, 
and all this technology to be handled also. <laughs> I know for you it's very late. I know it's for you it's very late. Thank you for giving the opportunity. Uh, thank you, Nagraj, my old time friend from uh, 70s uh, when he joined us at ISI. We were in the same hostel for quite some time. Uh, and I'm happy to see him back to India and leading uh, a very different mission now. Okay, I, I hope he succeeds. And I also got a new role for first one year, the chairman of the National Statistical Commission. So I'll be putting my message as the chairman of the commission. So what we are doing uh, from the government end. Uh, two things I think I'll try to emphasize. Uh, number one is that uh, we are going ahead with our plans for sustainable development goal. So when uh, Modiji government uh, took charge in 2014, in 2015, um, they have developed uh, a certain number of sustainable development goals in the line of the UN recommendations. Uh, so this includes many things. So we have got 17 goals. Um, the two goals uh, which are focused for this year are well-being for all, health for all. And the other is uh, gender equality and empowerment of women and girls. So here, few things are very important. Number one, number of criminal offenses against women. Now, this is, uh, uh, well, going down, but not to the extent that we love to. And also what is uh, an issue when you talk to National Crime Research Bureau, that often the ladies are not very at home or easy to put a police complaint. So many of these complaints get unregistered. So there has to be a focus from the Ministry of Home Affairs uh, to impress the ladies that if any offense takes place, please do report. Otherwise, uh, this decrease in number, which normally the educated uh, ladies do, doesn't give a clear picture. So that has been our challenge, but we are improving nevertheless. Uh, another thing that we would like to improve, but uh, it's not happening as of today, our target is that uh, at least one third of the government officers should be ladies. At least one third of the legislatures, like MLAs and MPs, should be ladies, if not half. Now we are still at the level of 14 15 percent mm -hmm. and from 2015 to 2019 we didn't really improve in that aspect but that's, that's basically a political decision um, and uh, for the officer recruitment we cannot be biased that we have to recruit um, women even if they don't qualify so we will be setting up different assistance or even support system for the ladies so that they can compete and they can across this uh, national level exams or state level exams and they can also become officers. And as to the legislatures, uh, it's the political decision. So the political parties have to take initiative, but we are constantly bringing out this data to them. So I'll complete uh, my HDG goals here. And the other thing that we have uh, seriously thought of, uh, we will be completely transparent with our data. So in fact, I personally had a meeting with our Honorable Prime Minister one-on-one, -on -one, uh, Modiji, uh, and he is convinced that uh, there is nothing to hide. Uh, but there are certain issues of privacy or security. So what we agreed upon that there are certain data which are of national security interest, that cannot be published by, by any means. But all other data uh, should be published in a fashion that privacy is not compromised. Privacy is a very important issue. In fact, here we are taking the help of statistics, um, statistical models. So how do we publish data after appropriately anonymizing it? So we did form a national level committee to how to anonymize the data uh, so that the data is put in public domain, privacy is not compromised. The committee has just given the report and I'll be sending it to the prime minister. And hopefully uh, in a year, or so, we will see that every data you want to know, you can get in the public domain, but no, but no private information. So what we have done in this one, uh, the committee was basically consisting of ISA professors and some government statistical officers. What they are trying to do, they are trying to, uh, you know, we say, obfuscate the data 
in such a way that the statistical properties are not lost. Yet, privacy is not compromised. You have to give a proof. The probability of you guessing uh, that this uh, data belong to Nagaraj or uh, someone else is less than some, some given epsilon. So this kind of analytical things we have done and the report is ready. So if we can do it, so this will be a success in, in our goal. And I'm pretty sure PC Mohan Mishi, if you were, if you were alive, you would love to see these things. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I, I definitely want to mention one thing that, you know, you are really following the uh, PC Mahalabi's foot, footsteps by being in, in Delhi and impacting policy. I cannot think of a better guest for our National Statistics Day and uh, uh, celebration of uh, Mahalabi's birthday than you, Bhima. I really, really appreciate okay. you coming over. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, I, I'm proud. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.